Hello everyone, this is Phoenix Tamer 2310 and this is my tutorial on how to fully motorize your 8294 excavator. Okay, first we'll be needing the power functions motor set, uh, which and you from that set you will be needing <coughs> the battery box one uh, actually two medium motors, the IR receiver which doesn't come with the set, and the IR transceiver which also doesn't come with the set. Okay, I have my excavator opened up, and it's uh, already in phase one of the motorizing part. The one with the handle right here, and you control it. Okay, just give me a second, because I can. Okay, nah, actually, well, you have to. Put the motor, this motor, which has this gear and everything, in there. Then you have to slide this part, I don't think you can see it, right underneath. It's quite hard. Wait. Give me a second so I can uh, motor on the first. Okay, it's done now. Right, you have this. On that side, you have to put it through here. Let me hook it on the battery. Okay. Now, give me a second so I can put this up. Okay. Now, yeah, I forgot to do this. Like, so it will, will be easier for you to play with the excavator. You can open this up and uh, then slide it through. I know it's. Uh, I also have a, a easier mo method, but. I'm not going to open this up again, so I can open it like this, and then like this, and you have to make sure it doesn't fall. Now, I think I missed that wheel. Wait. Yep, I messed it up. Okay. So you have to take this off for a second, and then take this part off, the one with the two stickers, and uh, the opposite part of the sticker part, with these two axles, then slide this uh, out of here, the, uh, this one, and the other one. Well, actually, it's only one, only one is left. Then, you have to take this yellow thing out of this. Like this, see? Then, with the far, one of the five cross axles, replace it here, so you get a three white cross axle instead. And place it here. Like that. Slide this back on. And then rebuild the back part. You won't be doing, you won't be needing this anymore. So like that. There's this part. Like that. Good. Then, <coughs> take this axle and place it right here. Now you can rebuild the back part. No, wait a second. It's not ready. Sorry. 
slide this back on and make sure that this remains on the old side. The old, the old side. The mechanical. After that, put the two gears on again. Then, replace this uh, four black cross axle with the white five cross axle. Okay. Put this one up. <coughs> and then comes the tricky part. Actually, <coughs> take this part off. And make sure you hook it on the black bar. See? So it's parallel to the ground. <coughs> Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Like this, and if you move it. It controls the phone. It doesn't phone. Okay. I forgot. You will also need two of these black uh, things. Then place them here, and I guess you already know that you will hook a motor in here. Yeah. Just like that. Now. Rebuild the excavator and do the back connection. Mm -hmm. Make sure this is in front. Turn the battery box on and then wait. Okay. In your hands. Oh, and be sure that this handle is in the front. If you put it in the back, it will only do the same thing. But they'll be stronger if you put both. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and uh, if I didn't explain something right, please let me know. And uh, my next tutorial on how to motorize will be on the mobile divestor. Yeah, the one from Extra Force. It's kind of nice after you motorize it. Thank you very much for watching, and hope you'll motorize the excavator correctly.